what I have here on my timeline, I've got some uh, copyright free time lapse. I've then taken a LibriVox uh, book and I've just grabbed a few, well, one and a half minutes. And as you can see, what I've done is I've dropped out and put silences in the audio. So my plan here is I'm going to render this out with these silences. Then this time code is going to jump around and we can see where the cuts have been made. I've rendered this uh, out got it on my desktop. So I'm just going to close this and this is the original movie. So if I play it. Chapter one of Days with Great Poets. For more information or to volunteer, We've got lots of gaps in there now. now I'm not going to play all the way through that, but you did see inside DaVinci Resolve, I've put in um, silent sections. And the thought is, we've always wanted this inside DaVinci Resolve. It's not quite there yet. So what we're going to use, we're going to use Jump Cutter Ultra. This is free. All I do is you have to have the original video in the same folder. I'm going to bring this across and I'm going to move it across. And there are some quite large caveats with this. First of all, you must have a lot of storage. It must all run on the same drive. And the reason we need lots and lots of storage is it's going to split this video up into individual frames. It's then going to compare the audio. It's going to take out the audio, the silence sections, and then it's going to reassemble it. And the way it does it is all, it's actually running as a contained unit, but it's working on Python. We can't bring it into DaVinci Resolvers yet, but we might get there. And all we do um, here, we've got this Jump Cutter Ultra batch file. I'm just going to open this in an editor to show you. Now in here are all the instructions. And what you can do is you can take out the silence. So you can have a silence threshold and the frame margin. Now I've got a frame margin of 20. And what that means is each side of the silence, it's going to have 20 frames. So that gives me a little bit of space, but you can change these, these uh, parameters here and you can experiment. And one of the good things that's been done with this is the output file will be the time and the date. And that's good because you can do more than one version. Instead of it saying, oh, I'm going to overwrite the last version, is that OK? It will just make another version and you can compare them. So this is what I've got set up here. And all you do is grab hold of this original file and drag it over the top of the batch file and it will run. Now it's going to open up this to start with. And if it's not in the same folder and it's not on the same drive, etc., you're just going to get an error here. But if it is all set up correctly, which is really simple, it's just in the same folder in the same uh, drive, then it's going to run. And what you can see is it has gone through the actual video and now it's, it broke up all the frames into individual frames, is then analyzed the frames and the audio and then it reassembles it. If you've got the room on your drive, you could do a large file. So if you've recorded for an hour, there's loads of gaps, then bring that in, cut all the audio silences out and then do another clip, etc. So let's see how that worked. Chapter one of Days with Great Poets. For more information or to volunteer, Recording by Capricia Page Days with Great Poets by May Clarissa Gillington Byron Chapter 1 A Day with John Milton Sorry, I actually paused OBS then instead of this video. So you can see what's happened now. The time code wasn't very good because we're only doing short intervals. But what's happened now is we've taken the silences out of our original video. We can then bring it back into DaVinci Resolve. This is the original. This is what, what we did. And if I now bring, in fact, I can bring it straight here. We now bring in the new version. What you can see, let's make some room is both in the audio, all these silences have been taken out. 
and what that means it just speeds up if you're making a tutorial or if you pause and you're having a think and it's just ready then to throw in the cut page and do some more editing so all the details all the links will be in the below the full video of where i've got it from will be below but i just thought it's now available it's free but remember you need lots of room on your hard drive that's it for this one have a great time enjoy the rest of your day chapter one of days with great poets for more information or to volunteer recording by capricia page days with great poets by May Clarissa Gillington Byron Chapter 1 A Day with John Milton When the sun was not yet shining upon his windows facing the artillery fields, John Milton awoke with his customary punctuality, wasted no time over comfortable indolence. He rose and proceeded to dress with the help of his manservant Green. His hands were partially crippled with gout and chalkstones, and his eyes, clear, bright, and blue, were both stone-blind.